What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the wall. Let's get straight into it. I figured it out. I know where all of the men who are seeking emotional connection and mental connection and spiritual connection are. Are you ready to hear where they are? Doubt it. Highly doubt it. They're at home. They're at the okay. gym. They're at work. They're busy healing themselves and they don't have any more time to be seeking out different people at bars or clubs or... Hey, I agree with this take. Shout out to her. She knows they are at home. Because here's the thing. You don't find your wife at the club. You don't find your wife at the bar. Out in the streets because that's not where they are. All right? If you are looking for one... The guys out in the streets are the ones looking to smoosh and push. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> find them at your local grocery store. Find them at your local gym. All right? This is where they are because they are focused. They are tired of having women take advantage of them hmm. they are tired of getting manipulated and apparently they have all just dealt with a lot of narcissist people and they're just sick of it so they're not even willing to put themselves out there anymore because they're so hurt and they cannot get past certain traumas that they've dealt with now facts ladies you want to get a good man here's what you need to do go find go get on um go get on a ps5 <laughs> Xbox Live, try to meet a guy in your area with that, man. I'm telling you. Go to go to a local video games meetup. So some of the most loyal men, bro. I'm telling you, ladies, you you be next in these men that play video games, but video game men, you know they ain't gonna cheat on you. They're gonna be at the house, they're gonna be chilling, they're gonna be playing the game, you know what I mean? They're gonna be hanging out with their boys. Like, come on, it's a win win. But ladies, always next men that uh, play video games. It's crazy to me. I understand this, all right? And I think that's fair, but uh -oh, I think it's it actually a really big problem that everyone's hiding, okay? Because if someone is wanting to connect and if you want this stability or of emotional connection or mental connection, it's important to put yourself out there. And if you're constantly living in your past experiences, you're taking away so much from your present moment. So I truly understand. I agree with this to some certain extent. If you want a relationship, you should put yourself out there and make yourself vulnerable. Because if you make the people of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past or the people of your past, there will be no future. So if you do want someone, you've got to go out there and make yourself a little bit vulnerable just to meet someone. Understand. We are all hurting. We are all still healing. I understand that. <laughs> it's scary to put yourself back out there, but if you're not doing so, you're just going to stay where you are and nothing that is meant for you is going to get to you because you are putting up this wall, staying your ass at home or hiding wherever you guys are. Oh my God, who the hell can? <laughs> at minimum. She I, but the thing is, I do think there is some validity to her points. Like... If you do want a relationship, you got to get out there. I'm not saying go hit the streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. Don't need to be a freaking runner. But, you know, Loki, do you want a carrot? I just feel him staring at me, dude. Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Good boy. Go to your place. But to some certain extent, it's like if you do want a relationship, you got to get out there because you have to get put yourself in a position where you're going to meet other people organically. Now, depending on what type of person you want to meet, I always say that you can start frequenting places, coffee shops, go to the public public library, go other places where other people that are single would be. Like, for example, I live in a smaller town. Um, I moved from the big city, Dallas and Austin. But if you live in a smaller town, here's a great advice. Go to a coffee shop, frequent this coffee shop, get to know the people at the coffee shop, get to know the people behind the counter, be very friendly, dress well, smell good, like be open and like talk to them, try to make friends. The best way to make a friend, I'm telling you right now, is go up to somebody like a stranger and just give them a compliment. Give them a, a straight up just compliment. Like, yo, I really like this. Even if it's not 100% genuine and you're like in love with whatever they have or they're wearing or what they're doing, give them a compliment. It opens up the conversation. Here's another way. Get on Instagram and go on Instagram and look up the geo tagging of like your city or your town or whatever. Go and then just find girls that are tagging your location and go in there like, bro, that's an easy way to farm connections. Farm, you can farm guys too, guys and girls. You can farm friends or relationships. Go in there and just like start liking their stuff. Like have your profile set up to at least look okay. Loki, go to your place. You're my co-star. Lay down. Because if you have this set up, you can at least b start building a foundation and network in your area. I moved to a brand new spot. I moved to this brand new area of Texas. I didn't know anyone. 
So I got on Instagram, looked up geotagging, and I looked up the geotag of where I was and started networking with people in my area so I could meet people that aligned with the interests that I have. And now I have multiple connections, but it took a little bit of work to go meet these people. It wasn't just like the, it just happened and these people were just like, you know, knocking down my door and hitting me up on IG or whatever. Like I actually had to go and do the work to find these people. But once I found them, now I've built genuine connections and now I have some friends. And, you know, of course I got Cass, um, but yeah. Thing more humbling than Australian dating. I've been pied three times now. As pied? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Cream pied? And the dates haven't even left the chat. They've been organized. The date's been set. I even bought a new top for one. Two of them had the decency to cancel. Both said that they weren't gonna be good company because they were tired. I'm not sure if that's a universal excuse <laughs> out here. And the other, ghosted. Just ignored. Didn't reply to my message. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Could have turned up in my lovely new top and been stood up. I don't mean to sound big headed, but I've never you don't need to sound that way, honey. Got fired! I've been pied in my life. Maybe I needed this. Maybe I needed to be humbled. Yes. <laughs> but I just feel like... You attract what you are, man. The universe gives you exactly what you deserve. Um, and number one, you don't deserve anything. And if guys are ghosting you, it's probably because you weren't that interesting. I mean, you can, can imagine, like, bro, a lot of these guys get into these text convo back and forth, these parlays with women, and um, you guys are drier than the Sahara. <laughs> You're boring. Just because, you, like, being cute isn't a personality trait, and I think a lot of these women think that, but that's not the case. Being cute is a prerequisite. You need to look good from the jump. Men are visual. We get that. Just like you expect us to be funny and have a good personality and have money, we expect you to be cute. Like, the UK and Australian guys are so different. I've heard that Australians are very laid back, but David Beckham drove four hours to see Victoria. Honey, are you Victoria Beckham now? Got fired! C Stop it. Beckham for 30 minutes. Comparison is the thief of joy. These women see what these other men have done and think, but you're not on her level. And I can't even get a text back. I'm giving up. The ironic thing is that for once in my life, I'm finally emotionally available to meet someone and go on dates. I actually well, met here's the thing. Just because you're ready doesn't mean the other men are supposed to be ready as well. You had your chance and you blew it. She looks a little bit older, probably in her later 20s. When you should have been emotionally available is when you were running through those streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. Now that you're ready to settle down, you expect men to mirror this expectation when really you've just been out in the streets. So the only way you're vetting men is street guys. Guys that want to come through and smush and push, smash and pass. So it's funny to me, it's so ironic that she's like, I'm ready, but she hasn't been preparing herself to be in a relationship. She's been preparing herself to be in the streets. These people and out. now she's just looking for a hero. I can be your hero baby. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Organically. So it wasn't even like it was a hinge date. Regardless, deleting that. I'm a shell of myself now. <laughs> I cannot possibly organize any more dates. <laughs> Buying new tops out here. The comparison to what? David Beckham. I saw the top, it wasn't much. Got fired! Tops for what, honey? What kind of top are you buying? Not much to hold up there. To have and to hold. What are we holding? What are we holding? Let's get to the next chick here. So for those of you that know my story, buckle up. I have an update. Uh-oh. And for those of you I that... I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. <laughs> it's my favorite. Don't know my story? Buckle up because I got a story for you. All right. So long story short, for whoever doesn't know, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me and got the girl pregnant that he cheated on me with... And I didn't find out until she was like four months pregnant and we were still dating. We, of course, broke up, though. So recently, as in this morning, I found something else out. And you know, like when you're going through a breakup and new things just keep coming up throughout however long you're broken up. For me, it's been. Hey, girl, why don't you sit in my lap? We'll talk about the first thing that comes up. <laughs> that was horrible months and i am still finding things out which is literally terrible okay so to cut to the chase here thank you last year him and i went to spain this was his idea he invited me to come there because he was there doing some work 
And he literally flew me out there. Literally. Come to find out this morning, he had this other girl there in Spain right before I got there. My man's playing the system. (laughs) What a king. So, of course, I'm sitting here like bamboozled because I'm like, what? So we were basically like taking turns. Like she left and I flew in. I love it. I literally don't know whether to like laugh or cry. Do a little bit of both for us. There's a very special seat in hell for this man. Like, bro, I did this all through college. Bro, I was like a, I was like a doctor's office. I'd have appointments. <laughs> One girl in, the next girl out. But that's what it is. You're getting played like a fiddle. You're getting played. You got to see it that way. And ladies, if you see yourself getting played a lot out there in these streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. Here's the reason why you're getting played. It's because you're going for guys that are out of your league. You're going for the chads. The guys that really wouldn't date you. They just want to beat the cheeks. Life is a mirror, not a window. You attract what you are. So if you're going out there and getting with men that aren't giving you the time of day and the potential of a, of a, of a relationship, that means the guys you're going for are out of your freaking league. Learn something. Take this L. You know what I mean? Lower your standards. Get with a guy that's more regular schmick. Go with the nice guy. Go with the guy that, you know, isn't flying you out. But I'm sorry, honey, but if he can fly you out, he's flying another broad out as well. And if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. Always remember that, ladies. Like, goodness gracious, how can you not see the writing on the wall if he's flying you out? Baby girl, let me tell you right now. If I was single and I had the money to fly a girl out, you can bet I'm beating the cheeks of multiple chicks. Stupid. Come on now got to be out of your mind thinking i'm not blasting through multiple girls i'm flying you out i'm I'm flying out patricia as well i knew things were bad but like i really didn't think they could keep getting worse i just personally don't understand how a human being could do these things to somebody that they claim they love and want to spend their life with and just not have remorse Like, I'm not even sad about it anymore because I've just accepted this is just who he is. But it definitely still messes with my head because I'm like, how? Like, how did we end up here? How did I not see all of this? How was I missing this? You're gullible. And mind you, Spain was like one of my favorite places I've ever visited. Like, I loved it so much. I literally wanted to move there. And he completely just ruined that for me. Like, literally... Had another girl there. Less than- Bro, always remember, if somebody can control your emotions, they're your master. I think Mike Tyson has a quote about this, but like, if somebody can change who you are, control your emotions, or make you hate something that you once loved, they are now your master. Don't let anybody take that control over you. you l- she liked to go into Spain, right? Don't let the fact that one guy flew you out there, blew your back out, realigned your spine, <laughs> make you hate Spain. You can still love Spain. Stop putting all the weight on your emotions on somebody else's actions. And- a week before I got there. I just personally feel so taken advantage of by somebody that I obviously loved and cared about, and it literally makes me sick. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. The effects of Chad. Um, yeah, I just want to say, like, she's shooting for a guy that's way out of her league. Honey, you got pumped and dumped. It sucks. Is it what we want? No. But the thing is, ladies, you have it so easy in the dating market when us men have it so hard that it's so hard to feel bad for you because a lot of us guys, we have to scrape and try so hard just to get a girl's attention. But the chads, like, this is why I always say 10% of the men are responsible for 90% of the trauma. It's because statistically 10% of the men slay all the women. It might even be 5% of the men. PSA for women trying to date as a woman right now is scary. Let's see know another absolutely disgusting secret about men they have a giant group chat that's literally made for evil and this is okay come closer this is a safety psa for literally this is probably happening in multiple cities everywhere but specifically i heard about this one over the weekend here in the midwest in minneapolis continuing on the general theme of uh Bruh, let me know chat are you guys in the midwest drop drop your uh, drop where you guys are from in the chat let's see let's see are we worldwide today my ladies in the city to look out for these crappy men this weekend my inbox has been flooded with stories from girls some guys i know some guys i don't know 
And out of respect and safety, of course, these women's stories are not mine to share, but we now do share the burden of the story, so that's terrific. Okay. Some things that exist. One of the things, though, that I had only heard an urban legend, but now have confirmation it's true because many of y'all have seen it, is that these boys have these group chats. I believe they're on Snapchat, right? Because no paper trail. And it's like, you know how women have like the are we dating the same man groups that have gotten out of hand, so I don't really pay much attention to them anymore. But like the original intentions for those groups was to watch out for other women and like warn them. So boys have a similar thing, except instead of good, they're doing it for evil. And what they do is before or after they hook up with women, they will send photos of these women in these group chats to share with all the boys. Now, I don't know the details if there's like one really large one or just a lot of little ones, but I will tell you, um, I heard some of the names of boys I know who are in it and I was shocked, okay? I did not suspect that. So for the love of God, tell your friends, tell your daughters, check up on your mans, okay? Even if you think you trust them, maybe just like keep a little heads up because it's not just the photos that like you're sending them that they're sharing, they're taking the photos without your knowledge. And as someone who just started dating seriously again like a month ago for the first time in years, I already don't want to be here. Bro, as we uh, sending, yeah, I, I don't know. Here, here's the big thing. Don't send nudes. <laughs> Getting mad that men are sharing your noodles. Don't share noodles. I think it's pretty fair to say um, because guys are going to be guys, especially if they're not dating you. They're probably going to share your nudes with their boys. Necessary bit. All right, let's go to necessary bit in the Reddit. Let's go to the Reddit and see what we got here. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, it's German. Okay, all right, let's get back into this. What was this again? Loki, why are we? Hey, why are we barking? Go to your place. Can you lay down for me? Stop barking, please. Lay down. Mom's just out there. She's just chilling. He scared me. Нет, ничего. Вот обязательно надо все пополам делить. Обязательно. И путь уже сначала. Изначально дорогу поделили пополам. Потом он тебя пригласит куда-то сама. Сейчас за себя заплатишь он за себя. Потом еще скажет, а поехали ко мне домой. И попробуй только сказать нет. Он скажет, ты что? Ты монашка? Почему нет? В чем проблема? Угу, девочки вот так вот. А, цветы? Но цветы лучше ему принести. Потому что ну, он как будет сто процентов не принесет их. Еще может ему дверь открыть. Машину, там, ресторан. Ну, типа, позаботиться о парне, понимаете, девочки? Привет. Ну, Германия, как обычно. Um, it seems like in Germany they're going through the, kind of the same things. Um, chivalry's dead, women killed it. Here's the thing, like, ladies, women are marketers and men are salesmen. We're only gonna try to buy the product that you're marketing. So if you're marketing something where we can smush on the first night, like, why would a guy want to date you? if he can just take you out on one date and take you back to the crib. Um, so I, th I think a lot of these women seem to forget that there's things that they need to do to change the dating landscape as well. Loki, go to your place. Go to your place. Lay down. There's certain things that women need to do as well to change the dating landscape. And, and one of those things is, is don't let guys smush on the first date because the thing is, if she doesn't let you hit on the first, or what is it? Oh, if she's making you wait another di an blah, 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 blah. if she's making you wait, another guy hit it on the first date. I need to start putting these freaking quotes on a t-shirt, dude. Um, but we understand that as men, and so if we're like, well, we know you've probably had a one night stand, but you're making me wait. Doesn't seem fair to me. So more than likely, I'm going to go out there and, and expect the same thing. But if we can tell from the jump, you know, you're a virgin. We can tell that you're very, you know, um, conservative. More than likely, we would wait. Let me know in the chat. Chat. If it was if it was a girl that you thought was deemed worthy, she was a virgin. Would you wait? I bet most men would wait. But the thing is, most most women right now aren't. So it's like, well, why would I wait when another guy's already done it? Another guy's done you dirty, but you expect me to wait? That see, that's where we have the disparity. Like, I don't know if that chick is a virgin. I would doubt it. If she's going on a date, she looks like she was you know of age. But most women these days, I feel like aren't. Maybe in certain countries, I saw a clip from Russia the other day where it seems like a lot of those women are. But here in the states, bro. 
Like kids in high school are going nuts. It's absolutely insane to me. Most of the girls I knew in high school had lost it by the time they were like juniors in high school. It's like, God, this is this is really young. As whereas back in the day, you know, my grandmother and my grandfather were there, were each other's first. Granted, they met each other when they were sixteen and thirteen and married when they were nineteen and sixteen. You see some people these days getting married at nineteen and sixteen, you're like, they are insane. They are crazy. Well, this is weird. Like a 19, let me know, let me know chat. Let me know what you think. Do you think a 19 year old marrying a 16 year old, a 19 year old man marrying a 16 year old girl is weird right now? Personally, I think it's it's a little odd. Back in the day though, it was very normal. Life expectancy wasn't as long. People got married a lot younger. You know, people started taking their lives seriously a lot younger. They had kids younger. Nowadays, people are having kids in their 30s. They're not getting into serious relationships until they're much older. So just things have changed so much over the years that the modern dating landscape is now so far away from what it used to be. And hopefully is real. Hopeflation is really real. Men have to work so hard to get just a regular woman, whereas back in the day, our grandfathers got a woman that could cook, clean, be a mother, be a wife, be a good helpmate, all of that. And nowadays, Girls want you to be a helpmate and they call you a narcissist. It's like, bro, this is, this is so crazy. That's why I've dedicated this channel to just like expose this hypocrisy. And there's a lot of really good men out there, but the, the water's so muddy that it's so hard to find a partner these days. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time since you're barking and going crazy? You freaking weirdo. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.